So I think it's fair to say that the original Sunless Seas is one of the all-time great indie games of the um, of the decade, I guess. And so here's a follow-up, Sunless Skies. It's just entered early access in a fairly raw form, in the sense that a lot of it is missing, and there's only one of the four regions. You can't create your own character yet, they haven't even put in all the stories, um, but it's, um, it's already good enough to actually get us a good flavour of what's going on. And there's already been a closed alpha a while ago, um, but now we're actually on Steam and we're ready to go in our spaceship in Victorian London, but in space. Um, it's the 1900s, very early 1900s. Victoria, Queen Victoria's probably pegged it. Um, I don't know. So anyway, um, because this is early access, we get given some goodies to start off with, which won't be in the final game. Because at the moment it's actually harder, apparently, to um, earn money. Um, it's a bit of tutorial stuff, so they have to give you a bit of a helping hand. But we can see the basics of the game. Well, in fact, it's actually quite advanced, really. I don't, it's not, I, I may have given a false impression, it's not like just like they've only just started making or anything. It was successfully kickstarted ages ago. Uh, but the full game will be released next year, apparently. Um, so just like the original, you've got your little bat that you can send out, and he'll tell you and put on your chart, which is here, um, if there's anything of interest around the place. And there's lots of stories to be read and voices to be used, um, if you're doing a Let's Play. <laughs> uh, did the thing come back? Oh, it did. Um, oh, well, I, I completely missed it. Um, yeah. I went, yeah, it is. It's now added this to my map. Uh, right, so let's actually get going. It's already feeling quite comfortable. It looks quite different, it looks a bit sparser than the original, because, I mean, look at this, we're in the middle of bloody nowhere. Um, we're just like, it's just a green fog. Um, so, it remains to be seen whether it'll uh, maintain the same atmosphere as the original, I mean, in the depth of empty old space, but already, look. Um, wispy condensation trails crisscross the sky, the ghosts of passing trains. I'm going for a bit of a spin here. Oh, you can actually go, look, you can do this and all, which you couldn't do in the original when you are in a boat. Hey! Bit of strafing for the lads. Alright, let's go around here. Let's see. I haven't actually got... I mean, this is... Um, I've so far played it for, like, literally two minutes, and this is as far as I've got. So from now on, it's going to be quite blind as we explore the Reach, the first of four regions. Uh, as I said earlier, yeah, three of them aren't actually in the game yet. So it's a bit of a poodle around, really, and see what's what. The developers want feedback. So, no. Um, so here's some feedback. It's very green. Oh, hello. What's that? Um, we've got a name. We've finally discovered our first place. Let's have a look. Bancroft's Forum. Ooh. Well, let's, oh, oh, hello. New Winchester. I'm getting some experience. Shit, which way am I facing? Oh, that way. <laughs> All right. Let's actually try and um, dock. Um, or in space. Well, actually, it's still docking, isn't it, I guess? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. It's a little rough and ready. I love the fact it's like little rail tracks. Because, of course, you are in a little railway carriage. Um... Which is a bit like a house of many doors, actually. Funnily enough. Um, but anyway, so we're in New Winchester, um, we're in Wolvesley Station. Let's have a look. The clamouring central station of New Winchester, a place of steam and smut and thundering iron. Here you can find people willing to pay for a skilled captain's service. So yeah, just like the docks in the original game, really. Let's have a look. An opportunity, the fastidious inspector. Someone is calling to you across the busy platform. Excuse me, Captain! Um, oh, it's a woman. No. <laughs> um, yeah, same voice. A uh, woman pushes through the crowds towards you. She is short and square-shouldered, in a neat black suit and polished shoes. She shows you the case of her pocket watch. It is embossed with the crown and hourglass of London's horological office. The body responsible for ensuring time is consistent across the Empire. I'm hoping to book passage to Port Prosper, she says, slipping the watch away. I can, of course, pay. All right. Yeah, I'm bored. The fastidious inspector. I've earned 50 quid so far. So Port Prosper lies a long way to the northeast of New Winchester. Shit, where's my pen and paper? <laughs> oh, no, not that there is such a thing as north out here, or indeed east. <laughs> yes, true. Look at this. It's um, it's um, it's a whole 2D, um, 3D sort of, yeah. It's an excuse is what it is. Um, anyway, let's see what else is going on. So we're already, we're already sorting this out. Speak with the seasoned captains. Yeah, let's have some gossip. A grizzled captain who left a left less oh my god who lost her left hand to frostbite shares her wisdom. The skies are dangerous. Oh god, this is gonna be hard work. News of distant ports is valuable. Collect port reports from the places you visit and deliver them to the Victory Hall or Company House. So essentially exactly the same as the Admiral in the original game. Uh, right. So uh, this is this is essentially the um uh, this uh, I guess this game's version of London. Um and there will be other ports, of course. 
Fully repaired, I need to do that. Look for potential recruits. Yeah, let's have a look. And the station is clouded with smog. The sewing bridges are hidden behind a thick blanket of fog. Faces loom out of the grey. An occurrence. Your someone awaits you quality is now 32. Your guess is as good as mine. Right, let's move onwards. So who have we got? Um, the clay conductor. Goodness gracious, Captain! He lumbers towards your locomotive. What a fine engine! This will get you a first officer, which we do need, because we've got now so far, I think. And it will increase your heart by three, your iron by one, and your affiliation academe by one. So hearts and iron are the same as the original game. Affiliation academe, God only knows. Right, so let's recruit him. And we could check out our crew. That's the profile. Oh, it's not letting me do it whilst we're in port, but uh, we'll do that in a bit. Uh, let's have a look at what else is going on here. Purchase a grand house. Cannot do that. Again, like the original game, you have to do a lot of things. Like get some bronze woods, five ministry stamp permits, and yeah, various other things really. Uh, and also you can retire. Perhaps not, because we've only just started the bloody Let's Play. Okay, so I've left the station. Now I can show you the crew. We've got ourselves a first officer, uh, which is Matey Pie. Hello. Oh, dicks. <laughs> uh, yes, this is not done yet. Right, so let's not worry about that for the time being. Uh, profile, I'm, sh I'm a shadowed stranger, which means I haven't got a backstory. Again, that's something that's not actually in the game yet. Let's, have a, let's check out Victory Hall. Uh, the assembly, a, a coalition of independent-minded settlers, colloquially called Tacketies, gather and argue. Uh, this is where you deliver port reports, so let's not worry about that just yet. Um, in fact, what we should probably do is get some supplies and get going rather than spend forever here. Engine provisions. Well, how much quids have I got? Uh, I can't see. Uh, but let's buy some. Let's pretend I've got lots of cash. There. So I've got six fuel, five of foods, and we're probably ready to go. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Um, I bought too much. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, good start. Let's get let's get going. I think we should try and go northeast. Oh, actually, that might be a. Yep, that's a bridge. Right, let's go northeast. Do we have any? Oh, look, these are the four. Re oh, look, these are the four regions: Albion, the Reach, the Blue Kingdom, and that. Good. Right, so we're going to try and go northeast towards wherever. Um, do remember that there is combat in this game. Let's hope it's a little less easy to game than the original game, because fighting the boats. Well, once you learnt how to do it, you could pretty much win every time by using a bit of cunning or hiding. Uh, because I don't think the AI was brilliant in that. So let's have a go. Uh, because if you've played, if you actually played A House of Many Doors, which was a game heavily inspired by Sunless Seas, and in fact I think Fail Better did actually incubate it, whatever that means, um, that actually had a very different take on combat, in which it was, a, I think it was a turn based thing in the end, uh, which was most intriguing. A bit FTL, actually. Oh god, there's asteroids. Oh, lads! A stopped clock. The fastidious inspector approaches you in the galley. Captain, good day. I noticed your ship's clock has stopped. Perhaps you permit me to repair it. She has a little case of tools and a hopeful expression. I think she's coming on to me. Permit it. You prefer things to be right more than twice a day. All right. She gives a grateful flicker of a smile and sets to work. Um, suddenly we fly back in time and it's Doctor Who all over again. Uh, no, actually, she's, um, she's doing all sorts of stuff. I appreciate the opportunity to keep myself busy. Staring too long at the stars is harmful to the temperament. Um, so she's going, she's going to carry on doing that. Oh, hello. I can, I can actually converse with her um, this time. She's not like my crew. Let's discuss the Reach, which is my current location. Uh, it has an uncouth splendour, but I miss Albion, um, which is one of the other regions, and the steady light of the clockwork sun. These sunless reaches are so misty and quiet. She pauses. But critical! Oh, <laughs> didn't read that very well. The territories here are rich with raw hours, and enough vegetation grows on them to feed the whole of London, even if some of it is in dubious shape. Right, I'm going to I'm going to pat her on the arse. Uh, it is possible that the inspector is pleased. It's rather hard to tell. Yeah, I think she's fine. I think she's good. I think she's cool. Having committed sexual assault. I'm so sorry. Anyway, let's see. If our fuel is going down. Our food supply is going down. Our madness level is fine at the moment. So we don't have to worry about that. This up here is heat, which goes up if you fire weapons. You have unlimited ammo. That over there is hull strength, which is 29 out of 30. Oh. That might be when I bashed the cider somewhere. Uh oh, I've just had I've used up one of my supplies. 
but we should be okay. As long as I get into um, a dock, I should be good, but it's a case of getting money. It's a case of gathering report, port report. Going to a port, gathering it, and then going back to the Admiralty, or whatever it's called in this game, and selling stuff. And then you'll be able to buy more fuel and supplies, and everything will be groovy. Where the hell are we now? I think I might zoom in. So I'm not really seeing anything at the moment, so it might be wise to send my bat out. Uh, I'm not sure it's called bat in this game. A uh, new smell behind the coal and the oil. Uh, the green and likely scent of apples. The, your bat returns and sulks in its roost. Um, hopefully that means I've actually got something. Oh, it's really obvious. <laughs> I was kind of going that way anyway. This might actually be the um, the thing that we were looking for. Because it is basically due northeast, I guess. Oh, look at the parallax. Oh, this is tall. This is tall as dicks. Oh, good. And a massive erection in space. It's Cuddles Comb! And I've just bashed myself. Right. Oh, strafe. So I haven't actually fought anything yet. Uh, mouse is probably not needed at this point. The one thing I actually would like is for a mouse to actually fire, to be honest, because at, at the moment you fire with shift and space, and that can be a bit fiddly. Oh, we're at the Nowhere Inn! Right, oh no, we have to... God damn it. Port Avon Dock. A bucolic village nestled within looming pre-human ruins. The dock is little more than a farmyard. Port Avon's inhabitants quickly tire of visitors. Ah, so this is like the sisters, isn't it? Uh, Behold! The ruin of giants. Gargantuan blocks jigsaw together, furred with moss, and whispering with orchards. A bucolic village nestles among them. Smoke coils daintily from the chimneys. A legendary game of cricket unfolds on the village green. Let's get going. Um, I've been welcome for three... Uh, your novelty will wear off the more time you spend there. Okay, so we've got to be careful not to outstay our welcome. So let's write a port report. Um, which is good, because then I can take that back and flog it. We're not talk for smugglers and sky beasts. You could easily confuse this place for a village on the world you left behind. England. It's quite peaceful here, apart from some fuss over newspaper delivery. The villagers frown and change the subject when you ask about it. Right, share exotic gossips, which will increase my welcome. Hopefully. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, apparently I don't have any salin stewed gossip. And I don't have a caddy of dried tea, so there's not much else I can do right now. So at least I've got myself a, um, a port report. But let's check out... Um, this feels different previously. I think most of the t previously it tended to be all done here, but this time we've got a bit more of a choice over here. Let's visit the village green. Um, actions here will well out your welcome, so we've got to be careful. Take a relaxing stroll. Uh, watch a cricket match. Yeah! Let's waste time. I've lost some terror, so we've got down to nine. Um, and my welcome has gone down to two. So it looks like we've only got three actions that we're allowed to take here. Uh, let's go to the pub. Port Avon's first public house stands amidst a uh, nodding corpse of, a copse of apple trees. Although I think probably corpse is more um, accurate. Right, so what do we do? Read a work of speculative fiction? Each contains a story by the local author, The Turbulent Fabulist. Oh, appreciated amount of cider. Uh, um, <laughs> careful now, a local warned you placidly. It's Father Dougal, lads. Um, your iron gives you a 36% chance of success. Not going to win that. Let's read a work of speculative fiction. Oh, hello, there's a choice. Uh, the Eyes of Heaven, Bones in the Well, The Devil's Confession, A Vacant Throne, A Corpse at the Window, and The Parson's Cookpot. Right, let's read that. A darkly comic tale of domestic misbehaviour and unusual appetites. The ladle steamed. Another portion? asked the parson's wife. Why not? Constant replied, and raised her bowl. The parson's crockery was old and pretty. Pretty. God damn it. <laughs> His chair was comfortable. His house needed only modest improvements, mostly in the area of the curtains. Perhaps he would be missed, but no one would ever find his remains, as long as Constance finished the stew. Uh, right, so I've actually um, reduced my terror again. And I've got a tale of terror, which can be flogged for something at some point. Now, I think our welcome is getting a bit worn. Um, let's quickly visit the, the ruins of Cyclopedia, or whatever the hell it is. Not one of the looming stones is quite square, yet they all slot together immaculately. What were these ruins before their fall? Right, so I can probably do one more thing before we have to bugger off. Enjoy the picturesque surroundings. 100% um, chance of success. Or conduct a nocturnal if conduct a nocturnal excavation. It's like a fart or something. Um, Port Avon's chief export is souls, quite from vast stores 
entombed within the ruins. You'll need assistance, luck and discretion. All right. 34% chance of success. Well, s oh, we've got, we've got, yeah, that's fine. All fine. Um, okay, let's, let's risk this. Let's not risk this. Piss. You're no longer welcome. I've been kicked out! That's fine. I was, um, I was going to wear it out anyway. Right. So a couple of the Brody and McDonald boys are watching the ruins. Truncheons in hand. All right, let's bugger off. Let's get out of here. Let's leave the um, Southampton arms behind and get moving down to Kentish Town. What's this? Oh, there's a, there's a mate. Uh, I'm just passing over. Will I love? God, I love the art in this. It's, uh, it's lovely. <laughs> right, I think he's getting a bit stuck. Oh no, yeah, he's um, I think his AI is a bit um, on the ropey side by the looks of it. Let's leave him behind. He's not firing at me, so I'm not firing at him. Oh, look at this. Let's send out my bat. And that does amuse up my supplies, by the way, so I can't go mad with that. Your bat returns and sulks in its roost. And we have ourselves a very distant question mark. That is quite distant. Well, let's make, let's go for it. Let's turn and... This is actually cruise control, apparently. Um, I haven't actually successfully managed to actually get that to work, though. You press C, apparently. But, no. Can't get it to work. Oh, hello. I'm already about to hit some bloody asteroids here. Okay. So let's watch out. Uh, the music's still very much in the same vein as the original, which I'm very happy about, because I like the music in the original. <laughs> Especially the main theme, the, the um, coming out of London theme. That was always rather groovy. Uh, so by the looks of it, my supplies are, are holding reasonably well. Um, but this is going to have to be the last trip before we make our way back to the original port. Is it Winchester? I keep on wanting to say fall in London or whatever, but it's not this game, is it? We're now in the skies. Mind that star! Actually, there's some asteroids popping up. Right, let's check the map because I don't want to be... Is there a... Oh, apparently M does not map. Oh, we're, almost, we're actually almost there. We actually are coming in to where we need to be. So let's... Oh, dicks. <laughs> that was easily avoidable. Oh, no! That was actually okay. That was fine. I've actually just lost some hull as well. Uh, 27 out of 30. I'm actually not going to die as a result of baddies here. I'm just going to crash into every bloody thing. The silence is eerie. A stoker tries to sing to lighten the mood. His comrade hushes him. I'm spelling... Oh, 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 strafe! Strafe! Oh, you can't strafe very often. You can only strafe occasionally. Otherwise, I would actually be going... Okay, let's... Um, ah! I'm fine. No, I'm not! Oh. Oh! God damn it. This is like riding on the Great Northern in the morning. Right, come on. Stop. We're at Carillion. Or Car Carillon. Uh, let's visit Carillon Centre. The peaceful Carmine institution was founded by devils from London and is dedicated to the betterment of the soul. Botheridge's A Tour of Heaven describes it as a cross between a spa, a sanatorium, and purgatory. She commends its bracing airs. Right, let's have a look. Oh good, we can recruit a new mate. Let's get a, Oh yes, yeah, we need a signaller. We'll get mirrors and veils and villainry affiliation. Alright. Let's have a yet another bloke. Go speak to the presiding deviless. She's an artisan of souls. Perhaps you can do something with yours. And that's a 100% chance of success. Let's write a port report first. Oh, I didn't actually read that, but never mind. Uh, and success! Uh, the presiding deviless works in an office shaped like a beehive. A stone and wickerwork building that stands all alone in the middle of Carillion's... Oh, Carillion's central courtyard. She conducts intake interviews with new patients, one by one. After a long time in line, you reach her at last. Her apron is starched, her dress pin striped. There is a stack of patient files on her desk, colour-coded. The corners of her mouth says you know something to your disadvantage. What a care! Right, let's ask her about the place. Uh, we do whatever is necessary to reclaim unsatisfactory souls. She, um, blah, 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 blah. For humans primarily, though we do attend to a few other creatures elsewhere on the great chain. They come to us with souls that are stained, disused, in every kind of sordid condition, and we make them acceptable again. So she's basically like a dry cleaner. Uh, most of us who come to us are volunteer. Most of those who come to us are volunteers. The rest are beyond the position of being able to volunteer, consigned to Carillon by their families or employers. Right. Uh, ask. Uh, no, no. I can't do any purchasing. So if I was actually playing this uh, for the long haul, I would actually be noting down what I can actually do here for future use. 
uh, but nothing right now. So let's actually... Mm, there's actually more stuff there, but let's move on. Let's visit the Visitor's Emporium, where I can buy fuel not too expensive by the looks of it. Um, still can't see where my cash is. Why can't I just... Oh, just a bit, I'm a bit ropey at this. Right, okay. I wonder if I could actually sell anything. A pane of stained glass. How many bloody things have I got? Hmm. Surely not. No. <laughs> it's not letting me, funnily enough. No. Okay, that's um yeah, that's the all the options it gives you to sell, but I haven't actually owned any of them. Yes. Ah, uh, right. Only a slight um moment of deafness, but shush. Let's buy one of each. Um cargo size is ten, and I will have got seven, is that right? Yes, seven. So if I did actually was able to buy any, anything else, I'd be able I'd have a bit of space. Uh, meanwhile, the oh here we go. Look, here's a shop um, where I can actually buy souls. The bursary is also happy to receive lesser souls into its care. Ah, right, okay. So if I've got any of those, I could sell them. But let's buy. Assuming I've got the cash, I don't have the cash. So bollocks. So this place is pretty much a bust. But yeah, let's have a look at the map. Right, let's make our way back to New Winchester via this gaping void round here. And we'll turn in our port reports and we'll get some more cash. If we can just work out how much cash I've actually got. So that's me. And let's have a look at other stuff as well. That's what's in my hold. Ah, here we go. That's ten people. That's ten supply. Oh, god damn it. It needs a few hover tools by the looks of it. Hold seven of ten. Jetson Cargo. Hmm. No. Possessions Villainry. One. Sovereigns Zero. Was actually I've got no money left. Maybe that's it. And that's that. Ambition Wealth. Okay, so this is, um... Right, yeah, this is just a, the basic goal. Where you can actually get enough money to retire. Uh, and those are... Ah, these are... Yeah, these are my quests. I never actually did find Port Prosper, did I? A long way northeast of New Winchester. Port Prosper. Unless, hang on. That wasn't Port... No, that was something else. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try to find that. We'll complete that quest and then we'll go back to New London. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> Winchester. Right, so I've... Let's, um... Well, there's no point in setting a bat out just yet. Of course, I don't... I, sh I mean, this is actually still running. Whilst I'm in the map screen, I am actually still moving. So I could actually... If I could just work out the the bloody cruise control button, then I could actually do that and look at the map at the same time, which would be groovy. But yeah, let's actually go further into the deep unknown. Oh god, damn it! Actually, what's that? What's a plus? Oh, character progression. No idea what that is. <laughs> so let's ignore it and pretend it didn't happen. Not sure where we are at the moment. But yeah, there's another, there's another mate. Let's have a go with him. Let's have, let's have it. Let's have it. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, missed. What's my, how's my heating? Not too bad. Yes. And loot. You have defeated a tackety scout. Uh, the scouts are not built to last is a truism in the reach. You you reflect on the veracity of the statement as another cabin goes up in incandescent smoke. There we could pillage, which is a 91% chance. I may gain fuel. Oh, well, let's go for the unusual cargo. A clasped jewellery box. The box is entirely empty of all precious trinkets. What it does contain, however, is a stuffed and preserved corpse. Ooh. I'm sure we've passed somewhere that buys corpses. Well, they buy souls, don't they? What about that first place? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a mangled nameplate. Oh, no, I haven't. That's nothing, nothing's happened there at all. You now have one uncanny specimen. I don't think that's a... Um... Hey, what's this? Oh, this is just the intro stuff. Oh, God, I'm... No! Oh! No. 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 Anyway, never mind about that. Uh, my heat is now going down, which is good. Now I'm no longer firing. Now let's see if there's anything else around here. There's an asteroid at the moment, which ain't much cop. Hmm. So. I think I need to go in this direction if I'm going to be, like, proper northeast of Winchester. I'll have a look round here. And if I don't find anything, we'll bugger back 
but bugger on back to Winchester. My food supplies are getting quite low, so I don't think really want to send out too many more bats. So let's just chug onwards. Oh, um, I've moved away from the um, the rim of the region. This looks promising. This looks promising. Uh, let's have a look in the chart. Uh, yes, I've come the long way around. The bridge, the bridge's clock chimes twice quickly. This close to the Isambard line, time is devious. Uh, okay, let's um subtly work our way in, not like charging around like a bloody bull. Oh, lighthouse. Where are we? I'm hoping it's going to be that port place that um is good for us all. The Fulbright Factory, 100 experience gamed. The Mornington Abraham. Abrahathat span. Port Prosper! And I've gained a... Yes! Yes! Lads, 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 lads. This is exactly what we need. Deliver the fastidious inspector. She disembarks with her bag in her hand and peers up a clock tower that has been raised above the station. Accept your payment. You will receive food and supplies in addition to a sum of money. Ensure you have space in your hold before accepting. Well, we should have, we've got five spaces at the moment. Oh, she's giving me six things. <laughs> Cow! You, you now have 150 sobs. Ooh, cash for days. And 60 experience. Oh god, I've got experience all over the place. Uh, the Albert Clock, they will pay for the delivery of bronzewood and stained glass. You may be able to purchase bronzewood at Port Avon or Traitor's Wood. And glass at Titania or New Winchester. Huh. Useful information, actually. Um, oh, by the way, yes. And thank you for your pleasant conversation, Captain. The sky can be a lonely place. You enlivened it. I have included a small additional sum to your, in your remuneration as a token of my gratitude. Yeah, she wants me. Uh, right. What's he got now for me? Oh, right, anyway. So, we've got, got loads of stuff. But what do they need? Bronze wood. In summary. <laughs> ah! Yeah, so deliver the materials, need a bronze wood or stained glass. Um, I'm glad they actually told us what locations you can actually find them in. Because in the original game, it really was just know the game, wasn't it? Anyway. Where, what else can we do here? Let's attend a parade. It is apparently the Feast of the Red Saint. Uh, gaudy banners fly over the painted rooftops of Port Prosper. The smog of the East End is hidden away by giant posters, displaying dragons in various degrees of vivisection. Oh. <laughs> the cramped streets are clogged with people. Wealthy West Enders promenade around the amusements, while impoverished East Enders work the stalls and huddles in the Queen Vic um, by the chestnut fires for warmth. A painted dragon pursued by knights is chased through the crowds to a chorus of Ho! The Riding! Um, so, who do I feel most comfortable with? The rich or the poor? Or everyone? Let's mix with the rich because we're great. A lady in a jacket bodice with bone sleeves looks you up and down. What do you think, Mildred? A murmur of assent runs through the crowd of starched and corsets and ladies. A gentleman adjusts his moustache. Yeah, you'll do. You spend the day with some of the self-described notables of Port Prosper. You eat roast chestnuts, sip glasses of Greyfields, all the way from old London, and even participate in a riding, charging through the narrow streets pursued by several braying fellows in a dragon. Ho! And that. So I'm tolerated by them. Yes. Right, well, well that's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's put a ride to Port Report. That'll get us more cash. Um, okay, quick private meeting with... Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> You look devious. Uh, the parsimonious chairman sits behind his mahogany desk, a decanter of brandy at his left hand, and a series of neatly stacked reports at his right. A fire has been lit in the cavernous hearth. It is too warm. Right, let's listen to his offer. He pours the brandy into two glasses. Uh, to business. When he smiles, he reveals the extent shift... Oh, pff. <laughs> I'm not doing very well with this one. He invites you to join him by the window, where starlight dazzles the sloping streets of Prosper. A place like this is only kept safe for, by toil, you understand. The pioneers who built it, the politicians who funded it, the people who defend it from. His lip curls. The tacketes! Those who toil in such labour are rewarded. Proof is required, of course. Nameplates will do. We keep lists of their engines. Huh. Except his offer, you will hunt tackety locomotives and provide their nameplates. So I've actually seen one of those, haven't I? Although I didn't, didn't actually gain one from destroying that thing. So this is presumably the Go Hunting You Idle Fox and quest. Huh. Well, I'll accept his offer, but yeah, whatever. Um, so we'll leave him behind. Um, do we need any shops? No, we've got loads of stuff. Um, in fact, so much, we're going to have to jettison that. Right. 
It has been a prosperous uh, visit to Port Prosper, conveniently enough. But now we are going to head back, noisily, to New Winchester. So this was slightly more north northeast than it was northeast, but I think we'll forgive the game. There's literally tit all out here at the moment, but look, it's glowing. Ooh, lads, 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 I've got up to number two. I can choose a facet, an unlikely hall, or the smoggy streets. I'm guessing this is going to increase my hearts and some things, and this increases my iron and hearts. So let's do that. The smoggy streets. You spent much of your youth in the hard end of London, where the gas lamps are scarce, the prospects bleak, and the people are as flinty as the cobbles. How did you like it there? You were at home, or you despised it? So essentially I can either gain iron, I think it's iron, yes, or hearts. Um, at the moment I have in need of iron, I think. So this seems to be, the, the facets do seem to be more simplified from the original game. I'm not 100% sure that's the case, but there used to be about six or seven, but eh, whatever. Anyway, let's get myself some iron. And so I have progressed. My character has progressed. Right, that solves that little mystery. So um, where are we exactly? Oh, we're bloody miles away still. Uh, this is going to be a long journey. Nearly there. I'm um, having to go due south now. Um, so far, I'm not finding it quite as immersive as the original game, uh, which is a shame. Um, but it still has got this, the right mix of things that um, made the original so good. Um, maybe we just missed the sea. Maybe the sea just has that hold on us. The hold, because of a map. Oh, hello. Oh, no. oh, hang on. Let's go and check this out, lads. Lads is action. I'm um, still not, um, also, the combat doesn't seem to have improved massively since the original. But this actually looks a little bit crazy. Let's, um, I'm not even sure where it's supposed to be shooting her. It looked like it was trying to, oh yeah, look, they're fighting amongst them. Oh, look. Okay, shit. There's, to... <laughs> There's nothing to hide behind. Right, let's loot that quickly. You, def... you have defeated a Reach Marauder. Well, no, I didn't, but someone else did. Um... Let's gain the strip the engine for materials. Well, since I'm, I'm actually losing hull, let's actually gain hull. You have gained four hull, new total 26. Um, let's actually get out of here before I get shot. Oh, piss. <laughs> uh, I can see that bullet turning up. So that's interesting. So the enemies fight amongst themselves. I don't remember that happening in the original. Hey! I said dodging in the wrong direction. Oh, look at this. Look at the way I'm dodging. I'm dodging bullets. Oh, I'm not dodging that one. Oh, that's actually a really nasty hit. Ah! Okay, lads, it's Scarpa. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> I'm literally firing to... Oh! I'm literally firing at nothing at the moment. Right, where the hell am I? Okay, I'm nearly home. Nearly home. The taste of smog, the sound of iron. On iron, we are home. March 31st to 1905. Oh, piss! A bump in the night. I think we've actually got a random event. I think the terror has actually increased. Midnight, you are alone on the bridge. While concealed to your chart, a loud thump makes you look up. A frozen corpse is pressed against your forward windows, trapped there by your speed. The wind must have plucked it from some lost wreck and carried it in your path. The corpse's glare is insistent. Its moustache is bristled with frost. Send a member of the crew to retrieve it. Or try to shake the corpse off by employing a series of dramatic manoeuvres. 57% chance. A 50% chance. Ah, shake it off. Ow. Oh. Poopy. I've lost two all. I'm down to 12. Oh, bugger. And that was just as we got... Look. Yeah, look. We have actually just increased our um, terror levels. Just as we get back to bloody port. Right, so we'll just finish things off by turning in our port reports. And anything else? Any other business that happens to... God damn it. Ha happens to happen. Right. I'm in Victory Hall. Deliver port reports here. So deliver your port reports to the injurate, vet the injurate veteran. Her tireless exertions um, during the blockade earned her both a seat on the assembly and enemies in London. I can't read anymore. Right. So you now have three favour the tacketies. You gain two fuel, new total six. You gain one supplies, new total four. So that's ten. That's rather nice. And we gain cash for days. Uh, so you don't have to... Presumably you no longer actually have to turn in each individual port report. You can do it all in one go. Um, I think I've got that right. And the rest of these things all require um, tacketies uh, and that. So let's move on. Now we've actually got... Um, he's, she's basically made it rain on us. And meanwhile, Company House... Oh, I could have delivered port reports there instead to receive rewards and win the company's favour. Um, well, let's have a chat. The secretary's gender is the subject of some debate in the company canteen. The secretary's prudence, however, is not... 
I would be interested to receive reports on events in other ports, however small. The company has expansive interests. One never knows what might be important. As you visit reports, blah blah blah, turn it into a CV reward. So just a different reward, I guess. Uh, all the others are about favour from the Winwood company instead. So it's all about getting different sorts of favours. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, engine provisions, uh, and well, so on really. Um, so we won't actually need any more of these because our, currently we're a bit kind of um, strapped for space. However, we do actually have some markets and we have some stained glass if we wanted to buy that. We've got the money for it. And we've even got bronze wood as well. So we could do that as well if we wanted to, if, if I could remember where the hell things were. <laughs> Uh, cool. Okay, so we will stop here. Actually, this is—I think this is—we've um, we've we've been so very successful. We've gained some cash, and we've got supplies for days, and we've got plenty of missions that we could do. Uh, yes, yeah, so all looking very good so far. Um, limited to what you can do at the moment, but still plenty to actually play with and gather stories and all the usual stuff. Uh, but yeah, still got a few reservations. Um, not sure how much of an impact it's going to have compared to the original, but we'll see how it goes through early access. The journey, in that respect, has only just begun. So thanks for watching. Do subscribe to be notified when new videos about the latest and best indie games go live. Um, do check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel and get us to buy really good games like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.